hello there you wonderful people of the internet welcome back to the channel in this video we're after some pelagics and some real monsters of the deep as always thanks for watching it's really appreciated and i hope you enjoy We're going to cruise along the coast until we get there. The whole time we've got, we're going to be in about 30, 50 metres, 60 metres deep. We've got the beach here, it goes down 10 metres deep, 20 metres deep, 30 metres deep, and it drops down to about 200 metres. So the whole time we're going to be trolling along the top of the cliff, always along the drop off points. That's where the currents hit the shelf, where it stirs up the plankton and the water, where the bait for shark, that's where the big fish most of the time are. We're patrolling now. We're going after anything, it's the Atlantic Ocean. We've got little lures in the water that look like fish. Technically speaking, we can catch anything. The most common fish we catch are monitos and barracudas, about that sort of size. Lately, they've been that size. We've been catching loads and loads and loads of one kilo tunas, one, two kilo tunas. Obviously, we want to have bigger ones, but there's loads and loads and loads of small ones around back then. So, yeah, we're expecting them. Also, there's dorados, there's skipjack tunas. There are other fish in the area, but Lately, we have some loads of small videos. The most important thing you got to remember about fishing, I say this because we lose fish every day because of this, is keeping the rod bent. Keeping the line tight and keep your rod bent. Always, you need to look at this part of the rod when you're fishing. This is the most important part of the rod. This tells you everything about the fish. A lot of people hold the rod like that. If you hold the rod like that, the rod's not working, the rod's straight, it's very easy to lose a fish. You always want to see that bench, you always want to lift it up. Put the rod in your hip, keep it up like that. And whenever you're working, I tell people, don't lower the rod below the horizon. If you're looking out the horizon, don't go below the horizon. Always keep the top of the rod above the horizon. So the idea is you lift it up, and then you reel it down to here. Don't go all the way down, just back to there, so you can still got that bend on the rod. Lift it up, and that is literally all you have to do. As long as that rod stays bent, that line stays tight, you're going to catch the fish. Yeah, Double Bruno. hookups. Double hookups. Look at it go. Left hand should be going rapid, and your right hand should be going in the Hit a shoulder of them. Yeah. Yeah, they are shellfish, isn't it? Same as mackerel, we had the same size mackerel, really. <laughs> Yeah. 
These are weaver fish guys, they're much much bigger than in the UK, let the crew deal with them. Bring it down. Bring it down. How do you know it's a trigger? Because it's a bigger fish, this is a trigger fish area. It might be a big snapper or trevelli or something different, but my money's on trigger. And another way to tell is if it comes around in circles. So yeah. a minute ago the line was over there and now it's over there and in a minute it's going to be over there. So okay. I'm going to guarantee it's just a trigger fish. Real? That's a cracker as well, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> trigger fish. Yeah, nice. These, as I say, are the next size up. One kilo, two kilos. But when we catch them, they go in big groups. We catch a lot of them. And these prefer the fish. So use fish again now on your bottom hook. I'm going to put them in a bag and see if we catch more. Nice. And these are beautiful to eat. These are my favourite fish. I've caught over a hundred different species over here. For me, it's the best. Wow. Big ray down there. You can see it, see the colour. This is a black ray, or a round ray, they call it. Very, very poisonous. Oh, well, somebody's feeling decidedly queasy. Chucked up over the side once already. And yeah, not, uh, not doing a lot of fishing, I'm always just sitting still. Okay guys, you can see from the last clip, the swell started to get pretty good. And as soon as the boat stopped, I forgot to take my sea legs with me. I hurled big style and spent the rest of the trip curled up in the hold, feeling very, very bad and sorry for myself. Um, these pills, Biodramina, Caffeina are fantastic. Go to a chemist, pick some of these up. They're not very expensive. These will save your trip, and uh, I can't recommend them enough. Get the ones with caffeine in as well, because uh, the other ones will make you drowsy. Top tip, please use it, guys, if you're going out on a trip. It's going to be lumpy. Hey, guys. Part two of the boat video. Tonight, we're out. Shark fishing. Stingrays, it works. Uh, we've got a few people on the boat, so I think it'll be just draw a number, see how lucky we get, but hopefully we'll get some shark action from somebody anyway. Fingers crossed, guys. Let's get some toothy critters. Okay, we're out in the boat. 
we're sitting just off of the fish farm which is over there which you can see there and uh, we're in about 35 meters of water let's have a look what do we got baby nothing nada sure there was a fish on there but it's an eight out of weight so back down she goes we're into something looks like it Hey, Papa! <laughs> Pete the Puffer, hello buddy. Pete the Puffer, check out that little dude. Oh. So, I wonder what it is. It was a little bit heavier than the last one. Another Pete the Puffer. There it is, Pete. Uh, turn it to the camera sideways. Like that. So you get a, turn the other way around so you're holding your hand. That's it. Like that. Alright. Yes, baby. Nice figure. Beautiful colour, isn't it? Okay, guys, as you can see from that, the sun is just dipping behind the mountains. That makes this perfect, perfect barrow time. So, we've got one of the ship's lure rods. We've got blue jig on it, blue jig. And we're going for a barra. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's come off. It's gone. Yeah. Ah, gone. Yeah. 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 Pero los pies no los quedan tan cubiertas, ¿vale? Ahí enfrente. Agarra ahí, agarra ahí en la cadera. No estás levantando la caña así, si que coge la caña bien, levántalo así. Going round. Well, keep it in the corner for the minute. If it starts going underneath the boat, then yeah, no. come round. Yeah, okay. I can only lift up the fish on one side of the boat, not yeah. the back. Oh, no. Okay. Whoa. 
R.I.P. my beautiful poppy, wait for me on the Rainbow Bridge, we love you, we miss you.